130 years after the Civil War, the state of Mississippi has finally voted to abolish slavery. Representatives say they would have liked to have done it sooner, but uh, they were delayed due to some awfully big cotton crops. They had to... That's a, some kind of big cotton thing. All right. In Colorado okay. this week, Bob Dole warned that if Pat Buchanan is the Republican nominee, the party might lose both the presidency and control of Congress. In response, Buchanan warned that if anyone other than himself becomes president, blacks will retain the right to vote. <laughs> okay. Last night, the epic disaster film Twister opened to big box office and some controversy. The Reverend Jesse Jackson has called for a boycott of the movie, claiming that what? not enough black people in the film are killed by tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Furman, who was expected to face disciplinary action by the LAPD, may get off lightly. Under the terms of a controversial plea bargain, the charges against him have been reduced to, quote, one count of using the word darky. Wow. <laughs> In the wake of the verdict, <laughs> angry Menendez defense attorney Leslie Abramson said the jury simply chose not to believe the brother's excuse that they had been sexually abused by their father and says she knows why. Quote, it's because my clients are black. What do they got to do with... Okay. President Clinton was in Austin, Texas last Monday, the day of the Million Man March. The president said in a speech, I'm here to speak to you today because right now in Washington, D.C., there's like a million black guys. <laughs> What? In Nashua, <laughs> New Hampshire this week, a high school student, Chris Conley, while attempting to dunk a basketball, lost his balance, crashed down on the rim, and shattered two front teeth. Gee, I wonder mm. if by some crazy chance Chris is uh, white. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this week as America marked the 50th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's entry into Major League Baseball, there was a sobering reminder that racial prejudice in sports is not yet a thing of the past. In a shocking move, today, all but one of the 125 playing members of the Professional Golf Association has signed a petition to ban African American golfers from the tour. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> and now a correction to a story we ran last week. What Prince Charles is actually the one in the middle. <laughs> so we, <laughs> no, we apologize for that. I don't know why black was black. Black, 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 black is great. Black is great. Black is fantastic. Black is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, black is fantastic. Even though, you know, they're not black anymore. But yeah, then yeah. again, we're not white. Right? Right. We're pink like his fucking asshole. <laughs> I've grown. seen it. I call it Bobby's asshole deep down. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. That's beautiful. Roseanne hired me as a stand you know, How's that I was doing stand up with Roseanne. Would you like to be on the show and act? I, I, you know, you can be Lori's uh, boyfriend. I said, I can't act. I should have said I could act. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, she said, well, why do you be a writer? But one time in the writing room, she would give jobs to crazy guys sometimes, and she gave a job to uh, African-American. I don't know what you call them. I call them African-Americans. That's uh, those two words that are never heard in the state of Texas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, so I told them. And we're oh, saying okay. African-American, and when you say that, it feels uncomfortable, right? No, to your tongue? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to say? Well, no, just tell me what you're supposed to say. <laughs> I well, said, I definitely would not say the A word. Right. That's what I call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The A, A, the A dash A word. Yeah, yeah. African American. African -American. A Can you do an African American? Oh, okay. That's why, yeah. Okay. We'll give you an African American. Well, an African American. Uh, your mom is so fat, she developed type 2 diabetes and congestive heart failure. Snap. <laughs> what? Uh, my, hey, George, my mother is so fat, when she came to Vegas, they had to build another hotel. <laughs> Guy goes, you got the do rag. He goes, you know, I'm fucking my woman, you know, and I don't want to answer the phone. 
Oh, shit, it could be a job, you know. And then, <laughs> well, and then, then you know, where you after you will, you take the do rag, you wipe off your dick with the do rag. And I'm like, no, I don't do that. But then you know, it's like, yeah, we all do that. We all wipe our dicks off. <laughs> you know the Harlem, sh the Harlem Shake. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it on okay. every single. Commercial. You've seen it, then you'll appreciate this joke. Mm -hmm. I remember back when the Harlem Shake was just a back black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape trying to collect his money. Orange is the new black. But not in my apartment building. Kevin is the new black. <laughs> but Presidential fact. Barack Obama is the first president to ever say the N-word as a term of endearment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not how George Washington is, though. No, I don't think it was. <laughs> no, it was uh, Today is the 11th birthday of President Obama's youngest daughter, Sasha, or as I like to call her, the uppity one. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, I'm a regular yes. mort song. <laughs> uh, Michelle okay. Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show, ABC ABC. show Nashville. Start again. Start again. All right. Kids today. I mean. You can't, you can't spell, spell ABC. ABC. <laughs> wow. wow. Uh, <laughs> Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show Nashville. With this and her appearance on iCarly, I think Michelle is ready to start appearing in films. May I suggest my favorite film series, Black Ass Fuckers? I found the secret to life. What? Is there is no problem that a huge... <laughs> no, I found the secret to life, Bob, and this is it. There is no problem big enough that a huge... <laughs> I know what you're talking about. No, no. I found the secret. I found out the secret to life. <laughs> yes, so great. One. Yes, and it is this: there is no problem big enough that a huge black cock cannot fix. Uh, Dr. Dre <laughs> announced that he's the first hip hop billionaire. A regular J. Paul Ghetto. Uh. <laughs> Take Paul Ghetto. <laughs> Two businessmen bought the Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million. They are very excited with their purchase, as this is the only legal way to own black people. Now, that is here, Jesus and I read Christ. that. Well, you're not there. You know how businessmen are racist? They are. Yes, yeah, so it's them being racist. They are. You. The two. The, the two businessmen that bought the Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million yeah. are racist, according oh, no, to this. they're fine, man. <laughs> well, here's actually a joke about Donald Sterling. Okay. All the charities that Donald Sterling donated millions of dollars to are giving the money back to him. Well, that'll show him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, never trust a black guy wearing a Dirk Nowitzki jersey. <laughs> In game one of the Western Conference that. Finals between the Mavericks and the Thunder, Magic Johnson said that Dirk Nowitzki is playing like he has three legs, which is a nice way of saying he's playing like a black guy. <laughs> Show Oklahoma City second round NBA playoffs. Great dunk from Westbrook, though I'd be more impressed if he weren't young and black. Moscow, Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> okay. is down. Boring. If I wanted to see an old black guy get punched in the face, I'd look out my window. <laughs> Eastern Conference <laughs> Final in Miami, and LeBron crushes Kyle Cover in transition. Always shocking when missing. a black guy running forward is faster than a white guy running back. <laughs> Usually I pick the bigger, blacker guy. <laughs> President Obama is a phenomenal player at basketball for a president of the United States. But I think he's just mediocre for a black guy. <laughs> hey, what about bringing in Jackie Robinson? Only team with a black guy in it. That's not cheating? <laughs> Where I grew up, that's cheating. Last week, Indiana Pacer Danny Granger called Joe Kim Noah of the Chicago Bulls a coward. Now, where I come from, those are fighting words. But I have no idea how the black community views them. I... <laughs> Middleweight boxer Bernard Hopkins has caused a stir by implying that Donovan McNabb is not black enough. The two what? men have decided to settle their differences with an old-fashioned game of who cannot catch a cab. <laughs> oh, God.
Farm, uh, oh, everybody's bringing up these uh, licenses for illegals and that they, they need to have them. And I'm, my question is, uh, where are they getting the license plates? Obviously, we're letting them register vehicles without licenses. And in this day of car bombs and stuff, I don't know if that's a good idea. Thank you, Dan from Boise. Norm, what's your feeling? Well, um, <coughs> I know that the New York governor, Governor Spitzer, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to learn things, <laughs> but he uh, he doesn't want to issue uh, licenses to uh, illegal immigrants, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how the hell you're going to get a cab in New York City anymore. I mean, it's hard enough, you know, for me especially as a black man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we gotta have to go cut the short of it because it is getting late, and then I do need to go 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 to sleep. Along with actually trying to uh, edit it all, all uh, <laughs> can't speak, edit all these videos. So that was um, uh, Norma Donna Risky Black Jokes. Uh, if you guys want to see the full full video, I will make sure I put it inside of the description. And if uh, so happens, if I actually do forget, please let me know in the comment section. So, anyways, if you guys really enjoyed this reaction today, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Let me know in the comment section down below which is the reaction next. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Nova, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.